The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Considered one of the fastest growing outdoor hobbies in the country, and no, you don't have to be little Zoe's ripe age of three to enjoy it. It's called butterflying, and yes, it's a thing, and it can be enjoyed by anyone who loves the great outdoors. According to Birds and Blooms magazine, one of the top 14 places in the country to see these beautiful creatures is right here at Beagle Ridge Herb Farm, right outside of Whitfield. So we are literally in the middle of nowhere, um, but people find us, and a lot of our visitors are repeat visitors they they come through on their way to the beach or on their way north visitors can do everything from wander through the gardens on their own or have a tour and with a tour they get to see the what i call the back door where they get to see some eggs and chrysalis and caterpillars and at this time we've got four different types going and then sometimes if they're lucky we have a butterfly that just hatched and we can bring them out here into the butterfly house and they can release the butterfly into the house. On my visit I was in luck. Ellen gave me a quick backdoor tour showing me her butterflies in every life cycle from egg, caterpillar, chrysalis and butterfly. Each stage is carefully protected and monitored. Now that one's not hanging up. No, he is not hanging. It is that actually, okay? It actually fell and it may or may not be. If they don't secure it enough mm -hmm. they can fall. But we do have plenty. This morning, this monarch butterfly just hatched and was ready to fly. Have you ever felt a butterfly? No. It's like little Velcro. Yes. That's how they hang upside down. You ready to go out and put them in the house? Let's do he it. He wants to fly. All right. We go out to the butterfly garden and let them loose. Here, visitors can walk among the many butterflies and watch as they drink from the plants and bushes Ellen specifically planted just for them. But at any one time, you can see all the different life cycles just wandering through so that you can see it in your own garden because thing, this happens everywhere. After my visit to the farm, it was off to get a cold treat on this hot day. I was told the best ice cream in town is found right here at King's Produce in downtown Whitfield. Choose from a variety of delicious flavors for a relaxing afternoon treat. Just down the street, I stopped in at the Haller Gibbony Rock House Museum, where a unique temporary exhibit is on display. Each room is a little different. We have things from the late 1800s up to the 1950s. Here inside the 1823 home of the first resident physician of Withville, you'll find gorgeous period clothing displayed throughout the house. Pieces like this Victorian wedding dress and ladies' corsets and silk stockings that date back to 1910. The uh, clothing is much smaller uh, back then, uh, the waist is much smaller and the height for the men and women was a little shorter than it is now. So we had a real problem with having things on a normal mannequin that just didn't work. So we had to use children mannequins for about everything and we had to create our own mannequins. So. For me, one of the most fascinating rooms was inside the parlor where a Victorian morning scene was set up, complete with casket and minister's robes. We had a, a casket, I guess, in our collection, and um, we had several items of clothing that would have been at that time period, so we decided we would do a Victorian morning scene, and it's set in our parlor, and uh, it's kind of set up, you know, there's black cloth on the mirrors, there's black cloth on the portraits, uh, there's a lot of different traditions with the Victorians, and uh, they would always have their uh, deceased in their, like, in their parlor, and people would come and pay their respects. And it's, it's really spooky, but it's, it's, a, it's a neat tradition, I guess, from back then. <laughs> the day I stopped in at the Wolfhart House Dinner Theater for a four-course meal and a great musical production, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat.
each number has a different feel to it. There's a country two-step number. There's a calypso number. Uh, the pharaoh is portrayed as an Elvis-type character. So it's, uh, it's fun for the whole family. Yep. Color is the name of the game with this show. The music, history, and nature can all be experienced here in Whitville, Virginia. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat is running now through August 28th. For more information on the show and all the places we visited, head to thetownofwithfield.com. And for more on this and other great In A Day's Drive ideas, visit our website at inadaysdrive.com.